Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to uh, FAR 110 lecture series number 6.5. This is an extension uh, lecture series uh, from lecture series number 6 that is uh, discussing on the journals. And this video is discussing the topic, uh, a subtopic of petty cash journal. So what is the petty cash journal? Normally, we use cash disbursement or uh, other name cash payment journal to record the outflow of cash, whether cash in hand or cash at bank. Um, however, there are some very mean, uh, very small amount of cash spent uh, uh, in the business so that uh, a very small amount that we call petty so the petty amount spending is not really suitable to record in the cash disbursement journal so uh, those those transactions that involves very small amount of payment usually uh, we use the petty cash journal and Example transactions is uh, the business bought uh, plastic bags uh, for uh, packing uh, packing the goods uh, when the customer come to uh, buy our products or a rubber band for a grocery store you know, to uh, to pack uh, the eggs a, a, a tray of eggs and or some other things that need to be packed using that rubber band and probably a pen which is the pen cost is very small you know one ringgit or sometimes 60 cents so it's a very small amount or paying a postage fee uh, uh, a 10 pack of envelopes, post large envelopes, costs around 3 ringgit or 5 ringgit. So it's a bit, still a very small amount. Or you, the business spend um, uh, things for entertaining the clients who comes to the office. Uh, for example, the drinks or biscuits um, or some cakes. So the, it's not uh, suitable for you to record these uh, these transactions in the cash disbursement channel. So better use the ca uh, petty cash journal. So the petty cash journal is actually maintained by the custodian of the petty cash. Usually we call the custodian as petty cashiers. So these petty cashiers will be given amount of money that we call a petty cash float. So this amount of cash is given to the petty cashier. Um, so the petty cashier will then um, uh, uh, control uh, the outflow of the petty this petty cash uh, for spending the uh, small expenditure. Normally, the petty cash flow is an assumption uh, how much is um, the money spent for that week, uh, for a week, for a month, or sometimes uh, they have um, they determine a two week float. Uh, it depends on your boss what are the, the most suitable uh, period for floating the petty cash um, uh, and some some of um, the company uh, uh, you uh, gives um, a three month float so depends on how your company uh, arrange that petty cash float and when uh, the petty cash uh, has been used uh, to pay for business expenditure. So uh, the amount of cash, petty cash then is reduced. 
um, at the end of the week or at the end of the month. So uh, the um, the money should be reimbursed into the uh, petty cash uh, so that the uh, the petty cash flow uh, uh, will will come back with uh, the the amount it should. Uh, so usually the reimbursement uh, amount is uh, calculated uh, from the petty cash flow the the original but the, uh, the amount of petty cash flow uh, total deduct with the unused balance so that is the reimburse amount where uh, the money will be transferred from the cash in hand account or the bank account to petty cash account So petty cash journal need evidence of petty cash voucher. Okay, this is an example of petty cash voucher developed by uh, the enterprise called Ayu Manisa Enterprise. So the petty cash voucher must have a serial number or reference number each uh, petty cash voucher uh, issued and it must have a date. And the and another data that will be in on the petty cash voucher is where the money goes to that is paid to whom, sometimes paid to the clerk or uh, the manager or whoever spe uh, uh, spend uh, the money. <clears throat> and the description of payment what the money has been uh, used for. Uh, for example, here it says payment of claim for purchasing a box of tea to be used for client refreshment. So you know that that is why the money of 4 ringgit 50 cents has been given to Anisa uh, using the petty cash uh, that they have in the office. And each petty cash voucher must be prepared. Who prepared that petty cash voucher and must be authorized by the supervisor. Uh, sometimes uh, can be your unit manager or anyone that has been entrusted who will be authorizing the cash outflow from the petty cash. Now let's have a look the format for petty cash journal. For the format, you have a column of amount received. The amount received on the left side here, yeah, amount received, uh, whereby we can see here a uh, 50 ringgit and also 150. So the 50 ringgit is on January 1. Uh, the particulars say that its balance brought down, meaning that um, on the uh, previous uh, week, previous week of uh, petty cash has been spent uh, of uh, a certain number of amount uh, and the balance, the petty cash on um, uh, January 11, that is the beginning of the week is 50 ringgit. And uh, the petty cash is received the reimbursed amount of 150. That is the amount already spent by last week. So the 150 is, is reimbursed to the petty cash um, so that the amount of float, amount of petty cash float is total 200 ringgit for that week. Okay, and you have uh, a column of date. Date means uh, uh, to jot down the uh, the transactions event which they they occur, and then um, uh, the particulars. Uh, you have a column of particulars, and then you have a column of the reference number for the transactions. Uh, here I put um, 
PCV petty cash voucher serial number. Uh, you can see you can put reference number. It's also acceptable for the name of the 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 column and the total payments column. Uh, totaling up how much the money spent for each transactions uh, recorded and you have then the analyzed details of uh, analyzing the transactions uh, uh, which are the transactions belongs to which account or which item so you uh, for example, here in the example, we have column of delivery uh, and a column of office supplies, column of traveling, and also column of pantry. Uh, some of the petty cash journal can be extended over time, probably not, uh, this month only uh, um, for detailed analysis and sometimes uh, the next few months it's extended to another uh, to five column of analyzing the transactions um, uh, transactions of petty cash. Um, so here it's only for uh, the amount that usually um, uh, we determine can be used uh, uh, petty cash uh, for the uh, for spending on the item. Uh, okay, uh, let's have a look um, on the journal itself. Um, so the January 11 is the uh, Monday. I think uh, you can you can look into the. January 11, 2021. January 11 is a Monday. So the beginning of the week. Uh, because the Petty Cash Journal is updated. Uh, I mean, um, it's closed uh, uh, bi-weekly. Uh, so you need to calculate uh, what are the amounts spent by the end of the week and what is the amount of money to be reimbursed uh, in the morning, I mean, in, in the, mon the Monday morning. Okay, um, uh, here, January 11, um, we have a balance brought down from the last week is 50 ringgit. And uh, the same morning, uh, you will receive the money from the bank account, which is total of 150. So uh, your total float, um, I mean the total petty cash float should be coming to the 200 as determined um, by the policy of the business. Okay, then um, uh, you can see that the uh, reference number for reimbursement amount 150, uh, I use PV. 2011 uh, that is the payment voucher uh, reference number okay then the same day they spend plastic bags these particulars can also uh, be put the same as the um, uh, the uh, analyze column which is uh, you can replace that the word plastic bags with office supplies so you do not want to put details uh, product or details item that you bought using uh, the petty cash uh, money. So uh, it, it depends on you uh, uh, how to record. Uh, it's an option. You, you may put office supply just uh, for the particulars. Uh, here I put uh, envelopes on the uh, January 12th. You can also put office supplies here too. And remember, all these transactions must be referred to the evidence petty cash voucher serial number and must be used by sequence. And you uh, and as you can see, uh, the post value is belongs to uh, account of delivery. So you will put on the um, delivery column. 
and the T is actually for uh, a pantry cost um, item for pantry expenses. So put at the pantry column and grab fare is for uh, delivery. Uh, sorry, uh, it's for traveling. So uh, it will put under the column of traveling. And by the end of the week, uh, the 16th is probably the Saturday. Uh, on Saturday, uh, so you close uh, the petty cash journal. So you have balance carry down of 100 and uh, 72 because you already spent the total amount of 27 ringgit and 90 cent uh, payment of petty cash money for the week so uh, the 27 ringgit and 90 cent will be uh, posted to general uh, ledger of petty cash account um, as the payment, I mean credit petty cash account, and the three ringgit will be debited to the delivery account. Uh, Sixteen ringgit and fifty cent will be debited into the office supply account. Three ringgit and ninety cent will be debited to traveling account, and also four ringgit and fifty cent will be debited to the pantry account. Uh, in in the general ledger and for the next week uh, you need to identify uh, how much money to be reimbursed to the petty cash uh, float okay that's all for the this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video for the next topic.